Well, hi, Shoreline. This is your devotional for Friday, August 21st. This is part three in our little mini walk through Psalm 145. And I love this part of the psalm where David talks about uh, remembering who God is. We talked on Wednesday about kind of what God has done and how he's worked, but this is really focusing on his character, the very nature of our God. So listen to verses 8 through 16. And as you listen, notice how David just focuses on and meditates on and thinks about who God is, because I think it's an encouragement for us to do the same. So this is Psalm 145, picking up at verse 8. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. All your works praise you, Lord. Your faithful people extol you. They tell of your glo the glory of your kingdom, and they speak of your might, so that all people may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is trustworthy in all he promises and faithful in all he does. The Lord upholds all who fall and lifts up those who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in their proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. In that short portion of the Bible, and maybe as we've walked through this week together, looking at Psalm 145, it struck you how much is in this one psalm. I encourage you to go back and read Psalm 145 a couple of times and just think about the themes we've thought about throughout this week. So just in this portion of the psalm, from verses 8 through 16, we are reminded that God is gracious. He's compassionate. We're told that he's slow to anger. He's rich in love. He's good to all. He's mighty. He has a glorious kingdom that's filled with splendor. His, his dominion, his power lasts forever through all generations. He's trustworthy. He's faithful. He upholds us when we need to be lifted up, and he gives us our food. He provides for us and for every creature. David just thinks about, this is who our God is. And he reminds us of things that I think we forget. Or sometimes in the world we live in, we get the wrong idea. We sometimes buy the press of the world, or people who don't believe in Jesus, who don't know the God that we worship. And they, they say, well, God is, God is all about vengeance and God is all about anger and God is this view of God that he's impatient and looking for a reason to get mad at us. But you read the psalm and you understand that, no, 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 this is the truth. He's gracious, he's compassionate, he's good, he's slow to anger, he's rich in love. His kingdom lasts forever, he's a provider. I wanna encourage you as you come to the end of this week to just look back through your week and notice where God has provided where he's watched out for you, where he's been compassionate or patient or gracious. Just think about the nature of God, your heavenly father who loves you, and meditate on that. Think about it. And as you get ready to gather with God's people this Sunday, and you can join us online, you can join us on our campus in the courtyard, you can join us on our campus in your car parking. If you're gonna be, on, if you're gonna be in your car or on, in the courtyard, make sure you get online and you register. And if you're going to watch us, uh, if you're going to watch us online, just jump in on one of those services and we'll see you there. But before Sunday, take some time just to kind of quiet your heart and just say, I want to remember who my God is, who I know he is, who the word says he is, not who the world says he is, not who I maybe when my mind wanders and I get a false kind of narrative or view of God, I want to remember the God who is, who loves me, who sent his only son for me. And as you meditate on who he is, Look forward to gathering with his people to worship this Sunday. God bless you. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you in worship on Sunday morning.